try again. Let's try this again. We got this. Hello beautiful people, my name is Sarah, I am the owner of Denim and Rain, and this is my little spot here on YouTube. Hello, welcome. It has been a while. Um, I've been doing Vlogmas, um, but it's been a while since I've done an actual, like, projects video or any other type of video. Um, we live in the Pacific Northwest. We have the worst weather in winter. It's either rainy, dark and cloudy, dark and cloudy. Sun comes out for 10 seconds and goes back behind the clouds. Did I mention the rain and the clouds? Um, currently, we have snow, um, which is fabulous. Usually we don't get snow until like January, February, sometimes even March, um, but we have snow. Um, it is currently um, end of December. You will be viewing this in January. Happy New Year! It is 22. Oh, I'm so excited for this new year. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to share with you all the projects I have been working on, some of which I don't have any more because they were gifts, um, and then share some new yarn I've caught in and some plans I have for the channel going forward in the year 2022. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with finished objects that I do not have. I had knit a pair of loft slipper socks for a friend, sent those off to her. I have, I have a list here so I don't forget. Um, my brother's fingerless mitts, um, my mother-in-law's socks, and I dyed some yarn for my sister-in-law. So those are the things that I can think of that I've finished that I no longer have. I feel like there was more but I can't recall what those things were. So, I mean, there may have been more things that I worked on that I'm completely spacing on. Uh, but let's show you the things I have finished for me. First thing is a pair of Christmas socks. Ta-da! These are my 2021 and 2020. I started this sock in 2020 and finished this sock this year. Um, they are knit out of Hobie's Christmas yarn. It has a shimmer and a sparkle. You can see there. Um, they are two different sizes. This one that I knit this year is kind of big. You can tell by the amount of slack that's happening here. Um, my gauge has changed um, in a year. Big shocker. Um, it's actually loosened up, which is great. Um, didn't think about it. So I cast on using the same needles for the second sock. Um, I did count the stitches, like how many stitches were for each stripe, and they were matching on this one, but I didn't think to really measure my gauge. Um, so yeah, that sock is, the sock I knit this year is slightly larger, but it's fine. I don't really notice when they're on my feet, plus they're just like, lounging around the house type socks. Um, the gold in this is very itchy. Um, yeah, the wool has softened up after washing because it is a super wash wool, um, but the gold is still itchy, as can be. It's on my feet though, and my feet and my legs aren't really sensitive, so it doesn't bother me that much wearing it. I hated knitting it hated knitting with it so much. So if you're a sensitive person, do not buy this Hobie yarn. If you are not sensitive and you could care less and want some really fun sparkly Christmas socks, do it. It's a, it's fabulous. Like I love how they look, but I just hated working with it so much. And yeah, if I hadn't have finished the first one, I probably wouldn't have done the second one. I just had the first one done and really wanted a pair of Christmas socks. So I made myself do it. I'm going to take a drink because um, I haven't talked this much in a really long time. Um, at least nonstop to something. And I've barely started. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. Next finished object I actually finished yesterday. This is a hat, obviously. Um, so, I finished this bad boy up because 
I've realized with my new hairdo, um, the slouchy beanies don't stay on very well. So this one is much, 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 much better. So yeah, skull caps are where it's at with the short hairdo. Um, this I made out of Lion Brand Wool Ease. I think it's the Natural Heather colorway, which is this bottom one. And then the yarn that I've marled in is called um, Cozy Wool Tweed by Loops and Thread. The color is Autumn Mix. So yeah, I cast this on because we went to go see Spider-Man and I wanted movie theater knitting. Um, and I did have a pair of socks on, but I'm pretty close to being finished with them and I didn't want to get partway through and be like, oh, now I don't have anything to do. Um, but I did stop at the movie theater about here uh, because I dropped a stitch. Yeah, and then had to, I was trying to in the dark do it and I couldn't find it. So I was just like, you know, what? I'm just gonna stop. So yeah, but I finished this guy yesterday so I could wear it in the freezing cold snow. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I love it because the only other skull cap I have has more color to it and I like my neutrals So this hat is perfect and I do not remember what needles I knit on. I don't remember. Sorry. I'm terrible at remembering those things um, So yeah, let's move on to some Some works in progress. All right, so we'll do a couple of half to finish objects starting with this sock I'm so excited for this sock. Um, so let me kind of turn it a little bit. It has mock cables and then the same texture that I have on my Malway Tweep sweater. Um, the texture that goes like down under the arm and the body. And then it is knit out of, sorry, I'm trying to turn this so you can see the whole texture. It is knit out of Lion Brand Woolies, same color as the hat. There you can kind of see the texture a lot better. So mock cable and then the texture. And then it has a, this um, heel flap is slip partridge stitch. I don't remember what it's called. Shoot. I don't know, but it's really pretty. Um, and yeah, then the top is knit out of that same cozy tweed wool stuff um, from Loops and Thread, just a different color. And yeah, I can't wait to start the next sock. I have a couple of other projects I need to finish before I cast on the second sock for these. Um, it does not have a pattern. I've thought about maybe writing one up. We will just see if, you know, I get around to that. Um, but they're knit on a 3.75 millimeter needle and yeah they worked up pretty fast I like having I like having whoa <laughs> excuse you um I like having pattern socks to knit on um so it's something small but engaging at the same time um so those have been a lot of fun to work on um my next half finished object is a mitten This is the Sildra Mittens from Skeen Deer Knits. It is a fabulous Norwegian mitten pattern. I am making these for my mother. I did not get them done in time for Christmas. So I did show her, I did have this one finished so she was able to try it on. Um, and then I will finish knitting her the second one. I have not started the second one yet because I've I have to sit and work on just this one thing and not have any distractions because each row is a new line of color work. I mean, this side is pretty straightforward. I got that side just fine. Um, but yeah, and this is knit out of Winnie Jo Fibers. Um, this is her 100% superwash base and the colors were oatmeal and teak, I believe. Um, but yeah, it is fabulous. I am loving the way that it's turned out. I did make a couple of pattern modifications. I took the stripes out of the cuff and then on the thumb, 
where you like pick up the stitches for the thumb and you knit up, it has a different color work. Um, but I decided to just continue this all the way up because I didn't like how it stopped and started something new. Um, it's beautiful, but I just I wanted it to continue all the way up. Um, so yeah, beautiful mittens. I did go up one needle size um, because I was doing color work. I know that I knit color work a little bit tight, so I just went up one. Um, and it seems to have worked out just fine. So, because I don't gauge swatch. It's basically, the mitten itself is basically a gauge swatch. Like, why would I knit a gauge swatch? Why well, can't I just start knitting the mitten? And if it doesn't work out, rip it back. That's just how, that's just, that's just what I think, anyways. Okay, my next project is another unfinished Christmas gift. Um, this one is for my sister. She asked for a scarf for Christmas in a light neutral color. So I am doing this scarf. It is very much rolled because it has not been blocked obviously, but there is this fabulous gray, which is one of my hand dyed yarns back when I did hand dyeing. Um, and then it goes into a nice natural color. And these are both the natural and the gray are um, nitpick basis um, and then this one the white and the gray are in this superwash wool fingering and then I'm holding it double with this natural um, lace weight 100% merino wool so it is not one that she can hawk in the wash I'm gonna have to tell her if you need to wash it for any reason hand wash it, cool, warmish, room temp water, don't slosh it around, don't want it to felt. Um, but yeah, I'm about a quarter of the way there. And yeah, on here is my beautiful, whoops, let me hold it still so you can actually see, this gorgeous Hello Gabriella stitch marker. It's a resin and flower, super pretty. I love everything Gabriella does. She does beautiful work. Plus, she's such she's such a cutie. I love her so much. I love just love her personality. She makes me smile. Um, okay, next. What should I show next? Let's show this one because you guys have seen this one before. Um, this is my champagne cardigan. It the body has been finished and blocked. If you watched my vlogmas, you will have seen me try it on and show you me blocking it got both sleeves done and then I have picked up for the button band collar whatever you want to call it um, I just need to start knitting it it's a new technique so it's another project that I kind of need to sit down and pay attention to um, yeah I need to watch a video because I'm a visual learner um, this is the champagne card again by Petite Knits, and I do know she has a video, but it's in Norwegian, maybe, I think. Um, it's not in English. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I can just kind of guess what she's doing by just watching and not getting verbal cues. Um, so we'll see if I can do that. If not, I'll see if maybe somebody else has a video. Um, tutorial for this but yeah this is made out of my thrift store alpaca that I had and I did go up one needle size I usually go up one or two needle sizes just because I am a tighter knitter it has loosened but I'm still a tighter knitter so yeah coming along on that and the yarn for the project is living in my prickly owl bag that I love so much the pretty mustard inside and the cute tassel, yeah. So plugging away on that one, I was hoping to have it done by Christmas. That did not happen, uh, cause I had to madly knit on Christmas gifts. And then because I was madly knitting on Christmas gifts, I had tendonitis in my arm and my hand and my wrist. I had tingly fingers and yeah, it wasn't fun. So I had to go without knitting for a while. And then I cut my finger to the bone right there. That was fun. Um, I'm gonna have a scar. Thankfully, the skin seems to be going back nicely. I didn't have to do have any stitches or anything, but it's right, 
right where my yarn glides across. And when anything touches it or puts pressure on it, it like lights up on fire. So I've been trying to hold my yarn at the back of my finger or crimping my finger, but even that starts to hurt it after a while. So yeah, anyways, tendonitis, slicing my finger open, just all the things to make getting more difficult for myself. Cool. Uh, but yeah. Okay, next project. Um, let's see, what should I show next? I'll show this one next. It's a little one, easy to grab. On Christmas Eve, I cast on a sock for Claire. The kids asked for socks for Christmas. I did not have time to knit them before Christmas, so I'm knitting them now, I'm starting with Claire's, um, because I have the yarn that I know she'll love. Um, but I knit down to about here on Christmas Eve, got the cuff and done to there, and then it was too tight. So I had to rip it all back, and then Christmas Day, I knit all of the, I think I knit all of this on Christmas Day um, while we were watching Christmas movies and stuff. But this top yarn is mystery yarn. No idea where it came from um, or what it was. It was a gift at some point in time. I took the ball band off and don't remember where it came from. This is to the max yarn unicat in a worsted superwash um, nylon base. And this is PK Yarns. Um, it's a fingering weight held double, same 75-25 um, mix as this. Just this is worsted and it's fingering held double. Um, and then the back of it has a little pearl ridge going all the way down the heel. And then the rest of it is just stockinette. So I think I cast on 40 stitches. She's got big feet. Like she's seven years old and her foot is an inch and a half, two inches shorter than mine. Her feet are huge. Like she also has a very high instep, which I have. Um, so from her like heel up to like the heel part up to here, that's no, terrible way of explaining it. The heel part to here is very deep which mine is too. So getting the cuff over this section can be difficult sometimes. Like it'll fit your leg really nice up here and it'll be the measurement you need, but it doesn't go over this part. Um, so yeah, I had to make it a little bit bigger. And then when you have a really wide instep, you also want to make your um, heel flap a little bit longer to accommodate for that because otherwise um, this section will squeeze more because you're not allowing for extra space. So even you can tell on my sock blocker, the heel is a little loose. And that's because I've knit a longer heel flap than you typically would on a sock. And that's just to allow for more space here on the foot. So it's nice to know this so I can make socks for her. I can do the same modifications in a pattern. I can make the heel flap a little bit longer and then just make that cuff a little bit bigger to squeeze over that section of the foot. So yeah, I was gonna, this was what I was gonna take to the movie theater, but like it's a kid's sock, so it wouldn't have taken me very long. Plus I was still in the gusset area and I didn't want to decrease too many or not enough and then go on the foot and then have to rip the foot back. That just, no. So yeah, there's that one. Oh, and those are being knit on the 3.75 millimeter needles as well. Okay, now for another sweater, which I have not shown here on YouTube, but I have shared on Instagram. And everybody on Instagram is like going gaga and freaking out over this sweater, which I think is really funny. Um, this is an idea I've had in my head for a while now. And I'm finally making a thing. Not sure if this will actually ever end up as a pattern because I'm very slow at writing patterns. And yeah, math, math sucks. Um, but here it is. This is my fabulous sweater. It does not have a pattern name at least, um, but it has this really great texture that's like forming like a V and it's a turtleneck. Oh, it's so good. I love this texture so much. And on here are some stitch markers. That one is from Whitney. Oh my goodness. Whitney what? Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
that great little stitch marker that's backwards. This one, this fabulous gold and black polymer clay stitch marker is from M Whitney Marie Anderson um, on Instagram. And this is one of mine. And then we've got some Hello Lavender markers on here. We've got a um, market marker on here. This thing is just loaded with stitch markers, which usually my sweaters are. Um, but yeah, this is being knit out of Lion Brand Wool Ease. Um, the colorway is umber, and I am knitting it on five millimeter needles. I kind of, maybe not. For a little while, I was wishing I had put it on a larger gauge needle, but I think I'm okay with the gauge that it's at. Like, I feel like it's a nice dense fabric without being too dense. I was a little worried about it being a little too structured, but I feel like after it gets washed, usually the Lion Brand Wooly softens up a little bit and relaxes. So I'm thinking that will be the case here as well. Um, I do have one thing I'm a little worried about. I, I must not have been paying attention while I was doing my short rows. I did it too high up on the neck and I did it backwards. So I've got this like bubbling happening here. See how it's like darting out? Um, it's not laying flat. I d mm. Yeah. And when I tried it on, when I tried the yoke on, I was looking at the front, didn't even think to look at the back. So yeah, I've <laughs> got this funny little lump. I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that it blocks out. If it doesn't block out, I think I am going to be brave enough. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to cut my knitting. Why would I do that? Well, I'm thinking if I cut where that spot is and just rip those couple of rows out, I could then like graft it together. It's what I'm thinking. Will that happen? I'm not sure. I'm hoping it can happen. Um, but I'm really, I really just want it to block out. If it doesn't block out, then I'll try that. Um, cause I'm not ripping back all of this knitting to fix that lumpy bumpy thing. Um, so yeah, I need to try it on again to see length where I'm at. Um, but I'm, I'm really loving it. All right. So that is it for knitting. Now I'm going to show you, um, my recent yarn purchases and other things I have acquired. Disclaimer before we get into it. I did not buy all this yarn. <laughs> I normally would never show this amount of yarn here on my YouTube because um, I usually don't, well, I just don't acquire this much yarn at one time. Um, so some of it has been trades, some of it has been yarn swaps, some of it have just been gifts, um, and all the stuff that I have purchased has been on sale. I did some Black Friday shopping. So yeah, what I'm about to show you yeah, so there's a lot. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first ball of yarn my husband bought me for Christmas. I guess the kids helped him pick it out. Um, they love it. My husband knew I would hate it. He's catching on. He knows what I like, which makes me happy. Um, yeah, this yarn isn't for me. Oh, boy. It's, it's not just bright. It's like bright primary colors. Yikes, and it is like plasticky feeling acrylic. Like I knit with acrylic, but this is like full on, let's spin a water bottle into yarn plastic. Um, but yeah, it's 100% um, acrylic. This color is Schoolyard. Schoolyard. Um, but yeah, this is what the kids picked out for me and put in my stocking. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to do with this. I'll probably ask somebody if they want it, because, yeah, I won't knit with this. <laughs> like, and I won't even, like, make a hat for my kids out of this, because, like, I'd have to make three hats, B, 
because all three of them picked it out. So yeah, I'm not doing, no, I'm just, just, yeah. Um, my husband did better. He bought me some yarn as well for Christmas. He bought me two skeins or balls of this Lion Brand Heartland um, in a very nice gray. I've never used this before. This is 100% acrylic, but it's soft um, and very nice. Um, this one, it, these two yarns, I might knit into either a baby sweater. Um, I've got some friends having babies or maybe a baby blanket. I feel like it'd make a really good blanket super soft and squishy and just, yeah. So there's that one. Um, this one is Great Smoky Mountains, really nice. He, my husband also bought me this, the um, Cozy, uh, hello, Cozy Wool Tweed from Loops and Threads. This is the color that I put into my hat that I just finished. I held that one double with the Lion Brand. Um, I don't know why they call it cozy wool tweed though, because, um, the wool content is like, they're just so they can call it wool. Um, it is 66% polyester, 30% acrylic, 4% wool. <gasps> oh, it's like, seriously, they just put it in there so they could call it wool. Yeah. I mean, it's a very nice soft yarn. Um, I have, like, I put it on my socks um, I have some other, um, of this, which I'll show you now. I bought some of this to crochet a cardigan. Um, so yeah, it's very nice, very cozy. Would I put wool in the title of it when there's only 4% wool? No. Um, but this color is cinnamon and this color is autumn mix. Yeah. Very nice yarns. I'm excited to um, knit this with this one. I'm thinking I might actually make a sweater holding that one with Lion Brand, that Woolies, because I really like how this looks and it creates a bulky yarn. And I'm thinking, ooh, a bulky sweater might be really fun. Nice quick knit. So gonna be using the two balls of this to make a sweater because there should be enough because this is a 150 grams and there's um, 418 yards times two held double with a worsted weight yarn because this is like a DK. Yeah. Yeah. Sweater will fly off the needle. Okay, next yarns. If you've watched, if you watched my vlogmas, you will have already seen probably all of these, but we're going to show you guys who don't watch the Vlogmas, which if you don't watch Vlogmas, that's totally understandable. Um, there's a lot of people that I watch their YouTubes, but I'm not watching everybody's Vlogmas. There's a lot of them. Um, but anyways, I bought these yarns from Hobie. This is Baby Wool. I bought this gray. They don't have color names, so I can give you the numbers though, but I bought this really dark charcoal gray, two balls of this, and I think I bought one ball of this. Um, it's a fingering weight, super wash, nylon wool. I'm pretty sure it's got nylon. Or maybe it's just super wash. Pretty sure it has nylon. Nope, it's just super wash. 100% super wash. Um, but it's a fingering weight. I plan on using these for heels, toes, and cuffs of socks. Because I just needed some neutral colors to put in my socks. Because I have a lot of fun yarns that I want to use for socks. Um, but not a lot of good ones for like neutrals for heels, toes, and cuffs. Um, and then if I want, like if I'm knitting a worsted or a DK sock, I can just hold them double. And yeah. So I'm excited to try these. I've never done, never used these from Hobie before. So excited to give those a try. They feel nice. And I also bought another new yarn from Hobie. Again, these were from their Black Friday sale. So I think all of these were 60 percent off um so really good price so i bought this alpaca from hobie it is a um acrylic polyamide and alpaca it's basically like a replacement for you know your um mohair because i knit a sweater with mohair like when I touch the mohair, I think, mmm, this is nice. When I wear the mohair, I think, oh my gosh, this is terrible. Get it off of me now. 
my skin doesn't like the mohair. So I'm gonna try the alpaca instead. But this color is 15. Um, this color is not what I thought it was. This is much more orangey in person than it was on the screens. So I'm kinda eh on this one. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that. I might sell it or de-stash it or I don't know. Um, or maybe I'll hold it double with that other Tweety yarn when I crocheted the cardigan because they kind of work together a little bit. Um, and when I hold it double with something, it'll tone it down. Um, but then I also have this one, which is a very nice taupe, which I plan on holding double with some yarn. I'll show you in a little bit. Or a sweater. This one is color four. I think it's called taupe or something like that. Um, and then for whatever reason, I bought one ball of black. I'm not really sure why I bought one ball of the black. Because I, I usually I buy yarn with a project in mind. I bought the the not color that I wanted one for a sweater, um, but then it didn't match the yarn the way I wanted it to. So that's the only reason that one's not getting used. Then the taupe I bought in mind for another sweater. Um, so I'm not really sure why I bought this one. Who knows? Okay, now let's get on to the pretties. Not that those ones aren't pretty, but these are like the extra pretties. They're so good. Okay, we'll start with the one that's caked up. So this one is from Oak and Fiber. This was her Christmas sock colorway. I don't remember the name of the color and I don't have the ball band with me at the moment, um, but it came with this beautiful mini and it is showing up exactly the color it is like it's not like burgundy like or red it's like this really nice brownish burgundy it's like a mold mold wine so good and then the full skein is like mostly green with some of this speckled in so good um so i kicked this up to start knitting christmas socks for next year um since my gauge has changed, um, as I noticed via the socks I finished knitting, I ordered some new needles that are a little bit smaller. I don't remember what size I ordered, but I want to say it's a two and a half millimeter because those other ones I knit on a 2.75 millimeter. And then I also have a 2.25 millimeter if the two and a half millimeters don't work, but I want to try the two and a half first. So, I've got these ready to go for socks as soon as the needles come, which I should be coming tomorrow. I do feel bad about it though because I ordered all I ordered a Amazon order before Christmas and now it's like all gross and snowy and I'm like, oh I promise I didn't order things and make you guys deliver in this nasty snow. You know. I ordered earlier. <laughs> um this next skein is also from uh Oak and Fiber. Look at these beautiful colors. Oh, so fabulous. This is, um, the other one is also this basis for cashmere sock. It's 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. Um, and then this color way is storefront. So it's got a lot of really nice greens and brown and grays. Absolutely fabulous. She's got a new collection coming out. I'm just like, can everybody stop sharing all the beautiful yarn? Because I'm not buying any yarn at the moment. One, because I don't want to spend any more money on yarn. Plus, I've got a whole bunch that I want to knit through first. I don't like just buying yarn to buy yarn. Like, I like to have a project in mind for it. Um, and then I like to knit with it. I don't like a whole bunch of yarn sitting on the shelves or in the cupboards. And right now, I have a lot of yarn sitting in the cupboards and on the shelf. So I want to knit through some of it before I acquire anything more. Um, but like I said, some of these were gifts and trades and things. So I wasn't planning on getting them, but I got them. Um, but this year I did splurge. I did buy Stress Knits Advent Calendar. I am not going to show you all of the minis. Um, if you want to see all the minis, you can watch Vlogmas. Um, but I will show you the main skein. This Oh, is so fabulous. 
This is on the tree. This is on her favorite base, which is 8020 Merino Nylon. Oh, and it's so fabulous. I was so happy to see that the main skein was primarily greens. I am, I shared this on my Vlogmas. I've turned into a green lover. My favorite color is no longer blue, it is green. Um, I feel bad about cheating on blue, but sorry. I'm so drawn to greens now. I, it, it's, you change though as you grow, you know? So I've changed. I now like green. <laughs> I mean, I've always liked green, but now I really like green. As you'll see in the next color, <laughs> this is Surella's yarn. This is her nylon sock, 8020, same as the last skein. Um, it's fingering base. And this is the colorway Home. Oh, this is so fabulous. This was from, I believe, their autumn collection. They um, had a Black Friday sale on all their autumn things. So I was like, mm, yes, please. So, yeah. I love it. Um, and then the next one is from Paisley Knits. This is a a dyer that I've more recently started following and have fallen in love with. Um, but this colorway is Earl Grey, which is my favorite tea. Um, and of course I love neutrals. So this color is just perfect. But this is her Krabby DK, it is 100% superwash merino wool, um, 230 yards per 100 grams. But I definitely plan on knitting some DK socks with that. Okay, so the next two skeins are from Bella Filato Studios. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. If it's the wrong way, I'm very sorry. Um, so this first skein um, was supposed to be a gift um, for a sock yarn swap, um, but then Duh, I wasn't paying attention. It was a pre-order and it was going to be here in time, so I had to order something else. Um, so now I have this yarn. Um, not really my colors. Um, it's very bright and neon -y and bright and it's bright. <laughs> but I think I'm going to keep it maybe and knit something for Claire because when she saw this yarn, she's like, oh, that's so pretty, mommy. So I might knit something for her in this. Um, but this is the colorway Holly Jolly, her Bella DK base, which is 75 Superwash Merino, 25 Nylon. Yeah, so it's very, very, very pretty. I'm not usually my colors, but it is very pretty. Um, and then the other color I bought was Noel, which is the same base, um, but this is also going to be a pair of Christmas socks for me next year. It is such a beautiful Christmas colorway, a little less traditional, which I love. Um, but yeah, love it. Can't wait to knit with it. Um, as soon as I've finished the, my other DK sock ones with the cables and stuff, I'm going to cast on those. Okay, and then these last yarns um, were another swap and I just, oh, uh, so, yes, okay. Mm. <sighs> just look at them for a second, will you? These are from Coast to Coast um, Yarn Company. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, I know it's Coast to Coast, but I always call it Coast to Coast. It's Coast to Coast Yarn Co. Um, this one is Brittle Gill, and this one is Shiitake, um, or Shiitake however you want to pronounce it. Um, these are both on her um, signature sock base. These are from her Mush Club. Oh my goodness, I can't even. So these were gifted to me um, as part of my sock swap. She sent them both to me to like hold double because I told them that I prefer knitting DK socks. So they sent me these two to hold double, which is amazing. But then I saw them and was like, I can't make socks out of these. I can't. It, they're too pretty to put on my feet. So I put out a little um, thing on Instagram asking if anybody had any extra of this one because I kind of want like this to be like in the yoke and then 
have like this be the main color or like do a color work something rather um, and then it'll be held double with this bad boy and oh yeah it's gonna be fabulous but anyways somebody sent me a message saying they had two of these and oh they were amazing and sent them to me I sent them some goodies and yeah so I have two more of these and these will all be put in a sweater they are so good Oh, I mean, look at the speckles in this thing. I can't even handle it. Like, look at the bottom of that. So friggin' fabulous. Okay, and then last thing, not yarn, but a project bag from Songbird. Oh, I love her stuff so much. And I was given this for Christmas from my mother-in-law. And yes, she said she saw me share um, her stuff in my stories and so she bought me one for Christmas which is awesome so yes my hat has already lived in this and I've already got another project lined up to go in this it's going to be a major like a main bag in my rotation so yeah oh, that is it for yarny things um because you know that, that was a lot normally going throughout the year um there won't be quite that much um, knitting and yarn. There will never be that much yarn probably ever again um, because, yeah, I can't afford, like I said, that much yarn. Um, but again, some of it was gifted, traded, sales, sales. Shop the salespeople. Um, but yeah, so going forward, let's talk about what I have planned from a YouTube and then I'll show a couple of non-yarny things. Um, for those of you who are interested in non-yarny things. Um, so going forward, I'm going to share more things that are less yarn because I love art a lot and I want to share more of that here. So in finished projects and works in progress and things, I'm also going to sprinkle in some art things um, that may or may not be related to yarn. So there's that. Next thing I'm going to be adding to my videos is I wanna share more of other people's work. Um, I love spotlighting other makers and things, so I'm going to also start highlighting favorite yarns, um, both indie and um, commercial, because I like to have both, because I know from where I'm at, I can't always afford the stunning indie dyed yarn. I kind of have to go for the commercial yarn to make certain projects, which is great. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't ever feel shamed because you're using not indie dyed yarn. Um, now, I also want to spotlight indie dyed yarn because one, it is fabulous and beautiful, but then it's also supporting the small makers. So I want to be able to share things that can help those who don't have an income to support buying indie stuff. But then I also want to support the indie stuff because then it supports those makers. So there's that. And then I also want to share more patterns on here. I want to share more um, makers that create crochet and knit garments and accessories and making sure that it's as diverse as I possibly can make it. Um, making sure I'm sharing things from people of all different shapes, colors, sizes, genders, etc. I want them to all be featured on here. Um, but yeah, I, that's kind of where I'm going with it. I want to share what I'm working on, share what I'm liking, share things that I'm admiring, and then at the end, chat a little bit about what other things I'm doing, if I'm doing anything at that point in time, any movies or um, podcasts that I'm listening to, etc. So you can kind of expect that um, for future project videos. I'm not doing it today just because I had so much content. Plus I wasn't prepared for it because I'm going to have to do a little bit more preparing than I usually would. Um, and then also some more extra videos. Um, I love doing the projects and showing what I'm working on, but I also like doing the other ones. Like I have my budget friendly yarns that you guys really enjoy watching. Um, that's probably one of my more viewed ones. Um, and then just other 
random things relating to yarn and knitting or art, etc. So you can kind of expect to see that from me in the future. Um, I'm still going to try to put these project videos out um, once, maybe twice a month. Um, it all vary month to month depending on what life is throwing at me at that point in time. So yeah, like December, it's a crazy month and crappy weather. So that's where we're at. So yeah, but anyways, that is it for today because otherwise I'll just ramble on and on forever about absolutely nothing and bore you all to death. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. I'd love to have you join me around here and comment down below if you have any suggestions of videos you would like to see in the future, as well as let me know what you've been working on. What have you been knitting or painting or creating lately? So anyways, have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye.